Hello and welcome to the Third Act Film. Today we're discussing who we think should be the villain for the upcoming Spider-Man Homecoming. Now I believe, oh actually, let me introduce my good friend here, Todd James. Hello. And I'm James Forbes. Hello James Forbes. Now um, I do believe that uh, the actor from Birdman, Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, a name I can't say apparently, uh, that Keaton will be maybe playing the villain. Yeah. But we're going to... I don't believe that's been 100% confirmed. It's one of those rumours that people have spoken about so much, everyone thinks it's true, but I'm not actually sure if it yeah. has been... Yeah. Um, and as well that he will be playing Vulture. But again, I believe these are all rumours. There's nothing official from Marvel themselves, other than the fact that they've cast him in a role. Right. But he probably is, and he probably is Vulture. But anyway... <laughs> We've got some suggestions. <laughs> so. Other than the one that it will be. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some suggestions. Uh, not not necessarily with Michael Keaton uh, for the role, but just suggestions as the villains would like oh, to see. I did all of mine with Michael Keaton kind of in mind. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I didn't really. Okay, yeah. even better. Even better. Variety. All right, got... all right. Uh, if you want to kick us off, Todd. Okay, this first one. This is a shout out to my boy. Fellow third act contributor, Matt Dennis. Um, <laughs> he is the biggest Spider-Man fan I know. Yeah, Much definitely. bigger than you or I. Yeah, um, it's partly because he is Peter Parker without About minus the pack. superpowers. Yeah. yeah, and the six pack. Um, we did a uh, group article on the website quite a while ago now about storylines we want to see in the MCU. Mm. Uh, the one he did, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Brilliant. But the main antagonist in it, it was a Spider-Man story, and the main bad guy is called Morlun. Morlun. M O R L U N. Morlun. Like Mulan. But like yeah, Mulan. An evil Mulan version. is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um. So, Morlun is he's not really a vampire, but he's vampire esque in that he sort of drains the life force out of people. Um. He can he not go out. In the daytime, he can go. He can go whenever he wants. Oh, okay. He's a free man. Um, he he has like the normal sort of things that most people have: speed, strength, blah blah blah. Um, he's not the th- the only thing that's bad about this is that the actual fight between him and Spider Man may not be that interesting. But Morlin is a he like travels between the different versions of Earth, killing off the different Spider Men. Uh, and I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, maybe that isn't the best idea for the first Spider-Man. <laughs> it's you, definitely a villain. You're to yeah, be I'm very this. down on this, aren't I? Oh wow! I, I just think he'd be a really cool villain to see. Maybe further down the line. Yeah, maybe and, when they confirm there's a multiverse, sure. and we can get to <laughs> X-Men possibly being introduced. Yeah, uh, he goes and kills the Spider-Man in the X-Men world and all of the Avengers. Sure, and on and the then TV pops world. into this one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that, okay, that, that, cool. that's kind of it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's kind of it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know though. I don't know. Maybe I think I agree with you. Not for the first one. Maybe later yeah. on, and when it gets a bit weirder, it's already we're already in. You know, the gears are in motion for it to be weirder. We have got Doctor Strange and such coming mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. So perhaps when it gets even weirder, that will seem sane. Yeah. Uh, my first suggestion is. Probably quite a popular vote, I can imagine. I always go with a popular vote, don't mm-hmm. I? Uh, Kingpin. As in... Kingpin, the, as in... Wilson Vincent Fisk, D'O- as in Vincent D'Onofrio. Kingpin. Vincent D'Onofrio. Okay. Wilson Frisk. Uh, keeping Fisk. In Fisk. How many times have you said Frisk? Anyway, carry on. Uh, mainly to get that connection between TV and movies. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have done absolutely stellar work uh, with Daredevil. And with Jessica Jones and such, and it's just I get I get yeah when they say oh yeah Shield kind of kind of connected not really I get it Shield's not as great but when you have <laughs> when you have a show like Daredevil and I'm I'm so, and you know I feel so Daredevil is one of the heroes that is challenging a lot of the Avengers and there's a lot more uh, developed than a lot of the characters that are in the films. Yeah, true. Get, well, I mean, he's had 20 hours of screen time. He has had 20 hours of screen time, which helps, but his interest is, you know, his character is so interesting. True. And Fisk is interesting. Uh, interesting. So I would love to, I would love to get him involved. I mean, obviously, the, on the TV series, there's a lot darker tone, 
but I, f- I feel like you can do it. You can still do a PG thirteen version of it. Sure. Yeah. And you can still have, you know, a really intimidating, threatening presence. And all of those guys who have seen Daredevil will just be, you know, clapping. Yeah. True. And I, I would be unhappy about it. Yeah. Um. He. I think if it were to go that way, you would need a. You need him to sort of buddy up, buddy up, <laughs> have some sort of partnership with. Yeah. A more physical villain, yeah. Because yeah. even though Wilson Fisk is like he's a good fighter, and you see him like beat up people and stuff, I think when it comes to Spider Man, I mean, you know, it's over in half a second. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd be more than happy if if he was in it. Maybe as more of a subplot. I'm not sure I'd want him as the main villain, but yeah, I'd be happy. Cool, cool. What's um, your What's your next one? Right, this one it was definitely with Michael Keaton in mind. Norman Osborn. <laughs> so the, the big yeah, thing I working against this is that we've already seen him, how many, is it 68 times now? Yeah, like, yeah, like, like yeah. so many times. Um, but the but thing this is, time... yeah, if this was the first ever Spider-Man <laughs> yeah. and you heard Michael Keaton was going to be playing Norman Osborn, you'd lose your mind. You'd yeah. be like, it's perfect. He, I mean, if you look at the more, look at films like, I don't know, Spotlight, anything of the more serious stuff that he's doing or been doing, he can definitely play the suave, charming businessman side of it. Mm. But then if you also look at like Beetlejuice and stuff like that, he can definitely go a bit more to the Green Goblin-esque crazy side. Yeah. Um, Even just Batman. You want to, what's that line he yeah. says? L- you want to get, get nuts cr- or something, nuts. whatever it is. Then he had us. Now you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Yeah. That exact clip. I hope you play that exactly in time with us <laughs> saying it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, he'd just be perfectly well rounded for it. Like I said, the only thing working against it, if to have the Green Goblin again, you'd be a bit like, come on, guys, how we many times? Have we, yeah. Um. Yeah. But this time they can do it right, and yeah. they can have him. Perhaps, perhaps not necessarily that he is again. Kind of weird that we're both saying the same criticism, but perhaps. Um, He's not the main villain, and perhaps that there are others involved, sure. and that a trilogy of the Spider-Man films, mm-hmm. assuming they can do more than <laughs> they two, get, they get that far. Yeah. yeah, if they can do a trilogy of it, and Norman Osborn kind of capping it off at the end, mm-hmm. so then mm-hmm. because you know Spider-Man, he's going to be in a kind of weird position anyway with the new MCU. He is with the Avengers guys, but he does have so, you know one. He's got so many villains that are great. Just himself that yeah. aren't involved with other heroes, so I feel like they've got tons of content to get done with just Spider Man that can be done outside of the MCU. And if they had an overarching villain like they are doing with the Avengers and a few other storylines, mm-hmm. have his one be Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. What did I? That's uh, <laughs> The Walking Dead. Yeah, oh, wow. Norman Osborn. Norman. Osborn. Although I'd be more than happy for Norman Reedus to get involved <laughs> in it in some way. Yeah, isn't it? let's get some of the Walking Dead guys. You know what? This is a good segue. Norman Reedus would be good to play. My next suggestion, Craven the Hunter. Ah, I have no idea who that you don't is. don't know who that is. He, um, his most famous story would be Craven's Last Hunt. Ooh. He's basically like a big guy who he... I, don't, I, I think this is right. He um, like loves hunting animals. Mm. And then he's like, well, Spider-Man is basically an animal. <laughs> he's Spider-Man. He's half an yeah. And so it, it's just kind of a thing for him that he just wants to kill Spider-Man. He has no, like... I mean, I'm probably really wrong about this because I've never actually read it. But yeah. um, my understanding of it is that he, he literally... His sole mo- motivation is, I want to kill Spider-Man. Fair enough. He doesn't. A lot right. of people do. Yeah. So you don't I, really... You know... Uh, it was it. I haven't seen Spider Man Two, but uh, Amazing Spider Man Two. But wasn't mm-hmm. the motivation in that that uh, he he ignored him? And then... He didn't ignore him. They were buddies. He, he didn't recognize him. That was partly it. because he was flying and had blue skin. Yeah, but it's not important. That film was. Yeah. So if you need a, a motivation for a villain, they've already set the bar as to how yeah. low you can do it and still make a bit of money. But I mean, if you were watching that and he literally out and out said, "That that's all I want," that's yeah. like kind of an intimidating villain. Yeah, especially that, uh, especially if um, if you were able to do it in such a way that he's killed. <laughs> I was gonna say Ant Man, but if he's killed, <laughs> if he's killed other insects, or, or guy, yeah, anyone with a you know, animal in the name, an animal Black in Panther. the name, yeah, 
And he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to carry on killing them. This is yeah. what I do. I hunt down uh, people with special abilities. This is the best hunt. Yeah. I feel like, you know, that, that is a great hunt. They always, you know, you get so many stories that do that where someone who does a lot of hunting, he's like, you know what the ultimate hunt is? Man. Man. <laughs> he's like, yeah. But now he was, he can say, uh, super, yeah, Superman, but super, super people, yeah. I can uh, go go and hunt them down. I think that's really good actually. Cool. Um, for the first for the first showing, yeah, and they, yeah, I'm not sure. Again, uh, a lot of a lot of our suggestions haven't really inclined. I've really been down on every single one we've said so <laughs> yeah. far, um, especially that it's homecoming, and it makes me think that if they're going to tackle more about being a teenager with superpowers, which leads. You know, I've just thought of one on top of my head. It, Go for it. I was going to do one, but I feel like, again, we're going to have the same criticism. Say it quickly. It was going to be Mysterio. Uh, yeah, yeah, same criticisms we had so far. Yeah, but I'm changing it. I'm changing it Go to it. Chameleon. Okay. Who I, I don't know too much about, but I remember there was a theory b- before Civil War that whoever was to show up as Spider-Man in in that film, was actually secretly Chameleon, who has the ability to change his face and change his As appearance. the name would suggest. <laughs> yeah. Um, Until so Craven <laughs> gets him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, to So that we would see Spider-Man, like, oh my God, it's so cool, and then find out, oh, actually, that was the bad Spider-Man. Bum, bum, bum. Although they would never do anything like that. But um, no. No. I think the idea of it being Homecoming, the idea of it being about him being a teenager Mm -hmm. and the idea of it, of the kind of outside meta uh, world of that he has been rebooted so many times Mm -hmm. to have him literally face off against a clone of himself almost and to help them... (laughs) Metaphorically killing Andrew Garfield. Yes, basically. (laughs) That's what I'm getting to. (laughs) To have him have a chance to, you know, to challenge, okay, this is what everyone thinks Spider-Man is Mm -hmm. and you can see Chameleon... Carmelian? That's a rap artist, sorry. Uh, Charmelian, he's gone around uh, pretending to be the Spider-Man that we've known from Amazing Spider-Man and uh, uh, first Spider-Man. Men's. Spider-Man. Yeah, and yeah. Spider-Man. That with the Spider-Man homecoming, we can, it will allow the new Spider-Man to say, hey, I'm not exactly like that. I'm not, you know, you can't just pretend to be me and show how he is he. Okay. It, whimp- it whimpered there. Yeah. I think I got off to the a good start. The pitch started strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you feel about that? Um, yeah. Yeah, all right. I don't really know. I'm not that familiar with Chameleon as a villain. But the only thing I'm thinking for that is that would be great for dramatic stakes. Mm. But in terms of action. Spider-Man v. Spider-Man. They've never done that before. Oh, wait. But it's not Spider-Man. Just because he changes his face, does he get Spider-Man's powers? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Pull it in. Why not? Okay, even if that's a yes. <laughs> yeah. And do you want to talk quickly about Vulture as well? Go for Since it. Since that's probably the one. I'd be pretty happy with that. The thing I keep thinking of is the fight they're going to have. Mm. Like flying around slash webbing around top of all the buildings. Pretty cool. That would look pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. As long as... Okay. <laughs> Which Spider-Man film am I describing? <laughs> a father figure to Spider-Man, who is an older gentleman, mm. <laughs> becomes a green villain, mm. <laughs> who <laughs> ends up betraying him and fighting him Wait in a every second. way. What? Yeah. So I, I just, I don't, especially if they make Vulture's outfit green. It's just like I, I don't because the Amazing Spider-Man is the same film as yeah. Spider-Man, just done a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> and I just don't want the exact same story to happen again. But it could be done a lot better. Okay, if it's exactly the same and it's better, that's fine. But I just, I don't want to have to say the criticism, they did the same thing three times. Yeah, yeah. And I will say it. Yeah. I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Do you have another one? Uh, no. I, I've got my last one. Is it Shocker? It's not Shocker. <laughs> okay, good. But it is Shocking. Oh my god. But it's almost <laughs> like we planned that. Um Iron Man. Now we're I'm just... so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I am shocked. Now we you know, we've got Civil War, everyone's hating on Iron Man, you know, everyone except for Captain America who wrote him a nice little letter. Um Spoilers. <laughs> god. It's a right. okay. Yeah, uh, I'm kidding, man. 
So I was thinking perhaps, again, ideology differences, showing where Spider-Man stands and showing less less of a, Iron Man's evil, he's turned, he's turned mad, we've got mm. to stop him. Or what they've done in the comics with um, Captain America recently, if you heard about that. About, Hail Hydra. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but instead, being that Iron Man wants to shape and craft him into the superhero that he wants and to the Avenger. The sidekick, basically. Yeah. Especially now that Rhodey is out of action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that he's trying to shape him into the Spider-Man that he wants. Mm. And you can see him, you know, Iron Man showing him, okay, go and stop these criminals, help me with this, help me with that. And then get into a turning point where, where Spider-Man's like, no, I don't, you know, I'm here for the little guy. And which he outright says yeah. in the scene where Iron Man recruits him. Yeah. And that perhaps where Iron Man and Spider-Man differ mm. is is the kind of immediacy of the impact. You know, he cares more about New York than he does about the whole world kind of thing. Mm. Whilst Iron Man's trying to get him to the other side. And then possibly fight. I don't know how. Maybe they show him, you know, killing another member or... Killing sure. someone. Right, fine. I don't know. Yeah. I lost um, it again. I, I really whimper a lot. Uh, yeah, the pitches are good, but the <laughs> delivery. Um, That's subplot to me. That's subplot territory. Yeah. But And also, I don't think it'll happen, because if you look at the second post credit scene in Civil War, it's another little present that he's given to Peter Parker. He's just grooming him, though. He wants him to be... Maybe this is all part of it. Yeah. It's all the grooming that he hates so much. Maybe you might be right, but yeah, um, I think Spider uh, Iron Man's definitely turning up in that film. I think yeah, that's again, that's another rumor confirmed. Not <laughs> sure. Although, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Well, those are our suggestions, plus uh, some bonus ones. Uh, some so, bonus yeah. ones. Lucky you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know who you want to see as the villain in it, and see how you know a, a, a kind of challenge we didn't re- realize before doing the video is it's the first film. For Spider Man. Yeah. So yeah. the villain has to almost be a throwaway, but not too much of a throwaway, mm-hmm. but important to conquer, but not too important to conquer. It's an odd balance. Yeah. Like you want to have. So I tell you, he was a really good first villain. Go on. Jeff Bridges in Iron Man. Yeah, he was throwaway. He, he betrayed yeah, him. But wasn't he good in the film? Yeah, he was yeah. alright. It was alright. I kind of hated him. I was like, ah, oh, you selling illegal <laughs> weapons. <laughs> Ah! Yeah, <laughs> something along those lines would yeah. be great. So, uh, yeah, if you if you enjoyed this video, uh, do share your comments below. I'm not going to say fum again. I said this in another video. I don't know what was wrong with me. Great, but uh, much I've... like <laughs> every suggestion, this video has fizzled out. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've been James Forbes. I've been Todd James. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> like, like, oh, no. My powers. Yeah. Like, fire, please. And the, and the Captain America's are like, hold it. <laughs> hold it. Only a super powerful character wearing the Infinity Gauntlet would come and say, oh, it's oh, a head of warlock.